Hey, what's going on guys? Kumek again here. In this video, we'll learn how to extract edges of a given image. So here is the image we're going to be working with and eventually we'll come up with a version where we have not only black and white, but the eyes, the nose, the lips and the head, the shoulders, the fingers would it be like uh, edges uh, being, dis being distinguished from the rest of the image. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is to import packages. So we all we need here is to say import CV2. Then we want to load uh, image file and we can say image equals to CV2 dot image read. Then the file name is image dot gpeg and cv2 image read unchanged flag here okay now we want to display image uh, in a window so just for debugging purposes so we can say cv2 dot image show uh, let's call the window just image and let's start by displaying the image on it. So now we want to break out of a program and say CV2 wait key and zero to wait for whatever key being pressed. And finally, we want to clean up the windows so we can see CV2 dot destroy all windows okay now let's open a terminal in the current working directory and by typing python 3 edges dot pi i yeah so now we see the image being opened press any key being closed perfect okay guys so the next thing to consider we actually need to convert image to gray scale so let's create the image gray scale sorry to gray scale let's type it like so gray scale would be equal cv2 dot convert color and now the first argument is the image is our source image and then cv2 color bgr2 gray like this and now we just print our grayscale version it should be available on screen okay now we have this grayscale version perfect so the next thing to consider is to extract the edges so what would i be using the algorithm uh called adaptive threshold so let's go for it so here we want to extract edges so let's call oh, i'm sorry it's not the right not the proper place here okay so image edges would it be equal to i'm sorry image edges equal to cv2 dot adaptive threshold and it takes a bunch of parameters so first the image itself so at first we'll use the image grayscale then we'll change it but just this this would be like this turns out why why this is needed turns out a bit later then the background uh, the background color i want to use white so if you reduce this number it would be like more gray and up to black so whatever value so but so so i want i just want to use white here uh then we need to define a couple of constants so cv cv2 adaptive adaptive thresh main constant and cv2 thresh 
binary. Okay, and now the block size, one of the essential things to consider. So how how thick the lines uh, would it be? Uh, like whether just a small counter or uh, like a thick uh, uh, one uh, involving many pixels. So let's kick start with, I don't know, let's say five. Okay, and the constant. And uh, this one, uh, this constant stands for like how many details are about to be displayed. So let's start by displaying uh, more details first. Then we'll be playing around with this values. Okay, so now we can already try to display our edges. So let's go for it. Okay, so not that bad, but not perfect yet. So let's now start working on this. So, I, I would probably like to go for this like this. Okay, yeah, now it's better, but you see like the image is noisy. So, the next thing to consider is to reduce this noise that we have. And in order to do this, we need to uh, apply a noise reduction filter uh, to the grayscale version of our image. In, uh, in, in this case, I'll be using the median blur filter so you want to reduce uh, reduce image noise and image blur would be equal to cv2 dot median median blur and here I'm taking the image grayscale as the first argument and then the constant so let's start with let's say five uh, we can also have a look at the difference, uh, like how this blur effect looks like. So this is the original grayscale, okay, and this is the blur version. So let's quickly check this out. So you see like it's more blurred, okay, and if we just go increase this value say to 11, you see that it starts being really like uh, vague, I would say. Okay, so I think seven would be enough here. So yeah, something like this. And now we can use this image blur instead of the image grayscale uh, to actually get, uh, to actually source, uh, to, to serve as a source for the edge extraction. So yeah, and I just want to finally frame the image edges. Okay, so it's so like the noise has been reduced here. Okay, and now we just try to play around with this constant slightly a bit more than apparently. Um, sorry, nope. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, sorry, guys. Okay, so let's try it three. Okay. Well, more or less, just fine. Well, maybe. Maybe I can still make it two, but yeah, I think, well, if we just try to go to nine, let's say. Okay, I think now this is, this is much better. So you just, you just compare uh, the non-blurred version with the, with the blurred version. So the eventual comparison. So initially we had this, it's not good, right? But after uh, applying this noise reduction effect, we have image like this, which looks much better. Okay, so the very last thing we can try to play around with, we can overlay uh, the edge onto the grayscale version because uh, it's kind of possible. So let's let's try to do that as well. So we can use CV2 dot bitwise end, one of my favorite. <laughs> functions here and we just can say image grayscale and the uh, edges and here we go so now we have this nice uh, picture like a cartoon style uh, of our image so the very last thing we need to do is actually to store the output images and we are done so so we want to write output images and here we can say cv2 dot 
image right so let's call the first like image uh edges dot let's store to png format and here we'll use the bare edges okay and here we have the bare edges okay and here i want to go for this sort of a thin so copy let's say convert image to to grayscale cartoon style okay let's say image cartoon like this so we can now display the cartoon here and write it here and here we say cartoon style okay so now right over in here uh, two files two additional files should arise so let's quickly check this out okay uh okay so what's going wrong we have this cartoon version okay but we don't yet have the edge version oh that's just overriding this okay i'm sorry image cartoon just you know been just overwritten the image sets not that great okay now we have the version with the bare edges which is nice and we also have this black and white grayscale cartoon style well okay guys so this is it from my side i hope you've enjoyed uh, i hope you've enjoyed enjoyed this tutorial and find something useful and interesting in it so this is it from my side see you next time until then and take care